Oh, yes. <laughs> Could you get me the the birds again? Oh. <laughs> now, there was Daddy Long Legs, and I know that uh, there are those that thought we should be taller. Yeah. <laughs> then there were the nose beaks, isn't that right? Those that are very slender. Oh. <laughs> but I'm kind of thinking that there's a technology where... <laughs> Uh, somebody had to use the brains of every animal and thought that they would experience the sexuality of every animal. <laughs> now this concept of you having some sort of technology <laughs> to cause you to have an orgasm that the animal has the orgasm in their brain or in their body, yeah, <laughs> that is bestiality. Oh. <laughs> now, um... Why don't you run through the assholes again? Because <laughs> I'd like to know, did, did somebody decide to lizard again? Masons, Mormons, or white supremacists because of their top secret royal family? <laughs> now, I can prove in a court of law that <laughs> every time you had an orgasm with any animal in your ass, and that animal, <laughs> though as small as it is, was connected to something much larger, much older, <laughs> you were actually giving orgasms to animals. <laughs> Now, uh, that's quite the sexual impropriety. Oh, he had to have a big hard dick every day of the week. <laughs> Now, these chips, yeah, I told you about the Transformers, yeah, why don't you get me all the animal chips? Now, there's what's known as veterinarians, and we went through those, but I'm thinking that somebody's using a technology where they can be very, very obstructionist, oh, and they can control judiciaries, and then you can take the thoughts of those thoughts. <laughs> now, the Marines, okay, they say, well, we know of a technology that can take your thoughts so you never remember anything. <laughs> but then there was Homeland Security. I remember I was sitting in the fifth wheel when they turned the static on and off, and <laughs> Janet would send out her little uh, virtual broom yes, <laughs> to sweep all the memories so that you wouldn't remember what it was that you were thinking. Yes. <laughs> Could you call Homeland Security, Janet Ann Napolitano, and Jane Lute, and Douglas Lute, and a few of the other employees, Jay Johnson, Ridge, oh, and then uh, Kelly, he was the director, he was the secretary there at Homeland Security, weren't you, Kelly? Yes, former Marine, but now works in the White House, food. <laughs> I know, you got yourself a good job in the White House instead of working for the Marines, but that was your decision and not necessarily the best career move. <laughs> now, uh, I well, should a Marine actually be working in the White House? I mean, let's say you were a Marine, yes, 30, 40 years, <laughs> and you end up with one of these three or four stars on your shoulders, and then you got to go on and get a political career helping one of the administrations. <laughs> I would have thought it would have been better if you just stayed in the Marine and then retired, but now you're involved in the fucking Trump administration. Yes, he is. <laughs> Not the best career move for generals and admirals to go to work for an administration. <laughs> There's, well, you're Republican or you're Democrat. <laughs> what were you when you were a Marine? <laughs> Are a lot of Marines, they say, well, I'm Democrat. <laughs> you fight over that when you're a Marine? <laughs> you're like kicking the ass of another Democrat <laughs> or a Republican. <laughs> There's a big political skiff going on. <laughs> you're grappling each other's Marines. You're fucking stomping the brains out of each other. <laughs> There's a lot of political tension in the motherfucking Marines. <laughs>